Run Graph Master Extension. Open Spline Graph tab. This section tab contain 18 presets of spline graphs. Let's choose the first one. In the pop-up menu, you can name the schedule and select the amount of data to get started. Project will be imported with default properties. Let's change values for two points. Now the graph looks smooth from the first value to the second. You can change the smooth parameters, tangent, just below the value parameter. The setup already have animation using several keyframes. You can change them at any time. The setup contains a separate animation and settings for two types of data visualization, start and inspect. Now let's change the names of the data. In the special global controls layer, you can change the values and colors for the entire graph. For example, here you can enable the display of percentages and show negative values. Now we can change the values to negative. Let's change some colors. In the same way, you can change the color of any element of the graph. To change the color of the frame, you have to open the appropriate section. You can also change the gradient color of the main curve. You can also narrow and expand the entire graph if necessary. You can also change the maximum value of the graph if you turn off the checkbox from percentages. Now let's see how to change the smoothing of the graph. In the local value settings, you can change the tangents. You can also make a line graph without smoothing.
To add new values, simply duplicate the layer, rename and change the value. You can change the tangents at any time. You can also change the style of each segment of the graph individually. Just enable this local option. You can also change the local parameters of the spline segment here. It is also possible to locally change the background of each segment. The project has many options that will allow you to create your own unique style. In the line parameters, you will also find a multiplier for smoothing and thickness spline. You can also make a dashes chart line. Let's add even more new values. Just duplicate first layer. Remember, the more values you have, the longer the project takes to render. Let's change tangent value for each points. Of course, you can change the size of the chart at any time. 